This is Mastema of the Tainted Variety. They are super awesome and I wanted to try them. They kind of have a triple shot like Keeper. Now the reason I wanted to play the Tainted version and not the regular version, I might play the regular version one day, but for now, uh, I wanted to try this one out because they're purple and cool. The regular version of Mastema apparently is all about devil deals, a true demon. Full on. We're talking like every single treasure room is uh, of the Devil's Crown variety. You can see even I have it gulped right now. It's it's kind of just like right there. And I thought that was pretty cool. But the Tainted version seemed really cool to me. I wanted to try it out. Basically, instead of just Devil deals, everything that you pay for is with Broken Hearts. So it sounds like real- Whoa! Dude, purple treasure room! I didn't know that was a thing. That's sick. Oh, see? Okay, here. Perfect. So I gotta spend one broken heart to my maximum in order to get this speedball. Sure? This is gonna be a challenging character. Now, that is not just it, right? Obviously, that would be a really hard character to play. This character gets an increased chance of soul hearts dropping and can also get rid of broken hearts, not just from confessionals, but by playing the sacrifice room and sanguine bond. So there's actually a lot of strategy here that I'm very interested in trying out. I might even just push this guy all the way over just so I can get some sense with this giant pot. And we can blow up these bomb rocks as well. Cool. Can I buy a bomb because it only needs one more to blow up? No. Oh, even in the shop? It costs broken hearts? Wait, this character's kind of tough then, huh? I shouldn't just be throwing away my stuff willy-nilly for a speedball. Okay. Uh, well, we'll try it. That is an adorable sprite. Holy. So if everything costs hearts, what happens if I go to the Devil Deal? Will it cost my heart containers and also give me, uh, broken hearts? I, I mean, if that's the case, I should be going to Angel Rooms, right? That doesn't seem very thematic, but I'm trying to win here. Whatever gives me the best shot. I start with base damage 3.5. I don't know if 1.39 tiers is what Keeper usually starts with, because he has a uh, triple shot as well. I'm, it seems a little faster. I don't think Keeper starts with that much tier rate. We are stacking up on the broken hearts already. This is going to be tough. I will go here, though. Actually, I mean, I think about it. Do I really want to spend broken hearts on a blind item? Why did I just hear a whoop? What did I do? I don't know what I did. <laughs> Something good happened though. So all of our treasure rooms are not just devil's crown treasure rooms. They're actually super cool purple ones that I've just never seen before. That is such a cool resprite. We have a tinted rock here. So Mastema not only uh, just has an easier way of getting rid of broken hearts, they also have an increased chance of finding soul hearts, based on what the workshop page says. So it's easy to get hearts, uh, but getting rid of these broken hearts is going to be the real challenge. Petrified poop? I may as well take that with me. Is that bombage? I see bombage. Go ahead and give me a little bit of soul heart action, thank you. In here, I can take an HP up, which is funny because it actually does not take a broken heart to take it. I'll take the blind. I, it's both? Okay, it's both. I am gonna need hearts because I need to play uh, sacrifice rooms to get rid of these broken hearts, right? That's definitely gonna help. There you go! There's that uh, extra soul heart generation from Mastema naturally playing in there. More money! Shop, moment, moving box. Is I don't think this is the type of run for me to rig, is it? I don't... I just don't see it. <laughs> Uh, here's the thing though, right? Judging by moving box and how it works, typically when you moving box something, you can't moving box a devil deal or something that costs hearts to take. So if I take moving box, I'm not really going to be able to use it unless I buy the item for a broken heart and then take it with me. That seems tough. I don't know if I like that. That's the main reason I don't, I don't want to do the whole moving box thing. It says we have both, wait a second, angel and devil chance? I have duality? By natural causes, I just get to have duality. That's interesting. I did not know that either. I don't know if I want to go doubles. Let's go angels. This is good, but not good enough, to be honest with you. I'll blow up the angel so I can get a key piece. Hopefully, I don't need to spend a broken heart to get this as well. We are already almost halfway done with our HP, and we've done two floors. We have to be careful. Definitely a challenging character the most, but I enjoy a good challenge. We don't need to pay for it. What? That is unique. By beating the angel, you just spawn a confessional, therefore being able to get rid of your broken hearts. Is that correct? That's kind of cool. If only it worked for once. Please, God. There you go. There's one. I'll try and get rid of like two more. Perfect. Nice. All right. Actually, this character is kind of sick. I like them. Okay. All right. I like this character. That is very unique. I wonder, you know what? That's probably the balance it. I get it. In the Steam Workshop page, it says that you can play Sanguine Bond uh, with the Devil Room in order to go ahead and get rid of Confessional or get go ahead and get rid of your Broken Hearts. 
And I thought about that and I was like, wait a second, does that mean I just have to go and find Sanguine Bond? I bet you if I were to go in that devil room, I, Sanguine Bond would have just been there, you know what I mean? So the confessional probably spawns by beating the angel room. That's probably to balance it just in case you decide to go angels, you're not just completely boned. So wait a second, did I just get rid of a broken heart or am I crazy? Did I not have an extra one? Is that also a mechanic? You lose a broken heart on every single floor? There you go, okay, I like that. Hopefully this shop's better. Yeah, there's no way I can do that. I'm doing it. That was worth it, actually. You guys want me to ruin something for you? Here, I, I, I've had this in my head since, like, vanilla. It's been plaguing me for 10 years. You know whenever you break open a poop, it looks like a happy face? Look at it. I don't know why. But now you will never look at it ever the same. You will never, ever, ever. I have just scarred, like, thousands of people. Cry about it. This is definitely a character that isn't easy. They're not too challenging, like a lost character or something. But it's something where you need to keep awake and you're constantly thinking about what you're going to do next. And I love that. If you didn't know, back in Afterbirth Plus, it was kind of a... Uh, I can't get over how cute that sprite is. There's kind of like a draw of like content, right? Because what would happen is Afterbirth Plus was so easy <laughs> in comparison to the rest of the game. People would streak to the chest like crazy. I'm talking like 900 plus. So when they rebalance Repentance to make it a lot harder, uh, I, I just appreciate that straight up. Uh, damage up is great. Because now, I like having to use my brain to play Isaac, believe it or not. Turning off your brain and playing a game has its times, you know, but for specifically Isaac, I think time has shown that that's just not fun. Streaking to 900, going to the chest as Eden, it's like, aha, yeah, I beat it. Like, nah, that's not fun. Another luck up. Does wait a second, why is my luck so low? Wait a second, Detective Matt's on the case. What the hell happened right there? Does Mastema just start with like negative 4 billion luck? Another luck up. Alright, well, we are amending the fact that we have 7 billion luck. It's okay, Petrified Poop's going so hard. What is this? It's a soul heart, that's worth, whatever. Well, that was done and easy, and we haven't even fought the regular boss yet? What? I don't have bombs in case I get an angel. Wait, no! I still have duality, just like built into me, the same way I have Devil's Crown built into me. So, uh, I suppose if I spawn another one, I can just go to the Devil Deal instead and get Sanguine Bond going. That's really cool that I can just switch in between Devils and Angels whenever I want. I like that as a character. I wish more did that. Sometimes it feels wrong skipping out on the Devil just to commit to Angel Rooms, you know? And then that first angel room, you get like Spirit Destiny or something. Actually, I'm playing like a nutcase and I got perfection. That's kind of sick. What's in here? Check, check. Nothing. Okay. Can I mention, by the way, how absolutely insane literally all of you are? In a recent video... Oh! Okay, I'm, uh, I, I don't get to talk anymore. I just... Alright. Do I spend all of my broken hearts to get Bookworm? Yeah, duh. In fact, I think this is just worth because uh, Book of Blow Eye was just genuinely good. I need a way to get rid of my broken hearts. Can I talk about how insane you guys are is what I was trying to say. In a recent video, I mentioned how I feel like the R key should be like a RGB gamer cool epic gamer key. And after that video went up, I swear there were like seven different RGB key like mods that showed up. You guys are so nuts. Apparently a lot of you agreed with me. That's so cool, dude. You guys are so quick with it. All of you are so talented. Way better than me. Jesus Christ. The fact that you can even sprite that. What's in this treasure room? Uh, the Mongoist of Babies. You know, I actually don't want to take this because, I, maybe later, I need to get rid of my broken hearts, dude. And to get rid of my broken hearts, I need hearts to play the sack room and sanguine bod and confessionals and such. If I get down to like, I don't know, like 10 broken hearts and 2 heart containers in total, it's gonna be hard to play the confessional. I gotta maintain a good balance here, which kind of falls in line with the whole duality thing, which I like. Broken modem. That being said, broken modem's right there. <laughs> And it's looking mighty juicy. Uh, no thanks though. Okay, that answers the question that we had earlier, right? Which is, what would happen if you go into a devil? You don't actually have to pay hearts, you just pay only the broken hearts. So, I'm hoping to get rid of some broken heart. Cool. Wait, I need to do math, don't I? If I take this, I'm fine? I am fine. Okay, then can I maybe get rid of- Okay, I got rid of two in one, that's perfect, and now I can take this which gives me Leviathan. I am now 
really doomed. I don't have any hearts whatsoever. Please get rid of some. There you go. And now I can take this HP up and heal back up. Okay, it's a little risky. This is what I was talking about earlier where I don't even have health to give to get rid of the broken hearts. But you don't just shove Abaddon and Ocular Rift, or sorry, Eye of the Occult in my face and I don't take it. That's just not allowed. We found our secret room. We just a couple keys. That's cool. We have infinite bombs, so I blow you up. Uh, and then we will take perfection and leave. Again with the sound. I don't, I don't know what that is. Did I get rid of broken hearts? Now it looks like I did. I swear I had full broken hearts. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, this isn't worth, is it? That's kind of a, that's a, that's a neat addition. I like that. Look at that. The Bible doesn't take any broken hearts to take. I like, that's cute. That's adorable. Of course, we're going to take Belial though, just because of the better deal chance. And it's just a stronger item overall. But that was kind of cool to find. That was the worst thing I've ever done in my life. Oh man, that is a juicy item. Jesus. Okay, let me look. I mean, I'm just hoping I find like a sack room or something at this point. We haven't found any sack rooms. The only way that we've been able to actually get rid of our broken hearts is through my deals. I've been very lucky with them, but I need a better way, honestly, because this is starting to get absurd. Pill moment, health up. Okay, the health up just gives you a soul heart. That makes sense. That's just like blue baby. Uh, I think I'll just walk in here and press Q, get stomped on pretty easily. Give me a deal, please. Perfect. Where's the devil deal? <laughs> Guess where? Going angels, whether I like it or not. It, probably what's supposed to happen is it spawns up here, uh, but this is blocked, so it doesn't let it. And this had to spawn because that's just a priority. So it only spawned the angel. We get this monstrance. I don't even think monstrance is worth it. What I think I'll do is just fight this dude, get the key piece, um, spawn the confessional, and just try and get rid of some uh, broken hearts. There you go, that spawns in. I think it's so awesome that it spawns in via holy light, by the way. That is such a cool touch. There's one gone. There's two gone. Maybe three? Maybe three? No. Okay. Finally found our shop. That's good. Later, idiots. And in here, we get good stuff, but good enough to really take? I don't know. What is this? Hangman? That's just money. Two broken hearts for a basic damage up. I don't know. I don't know. I think I'll leave it alone, honestly. I feel like I could get something better. You know, I might as well save my broken hearts whenever I find like Polyphemus. Oh! That's not what I was expecting. I was expecting Polyphemus because that would have been sick. Uh, this is potentially actually better. Now, here's something I don't know. If I reroll and it turns into a new pedestal, do I have to pay for it again? I do. That's rough. Oh boy. <laughs> we got to keep that in mind. I literally physically cannot take a three broken heart deal anymore. Never heard of a broken heart deal, by the way. That's kind of a new concept that comes with this character. That's sick. Secret room would be a weird one. It's a weird one. We don't need any of this maximizing my rolls i don't know i think what happens is the way that it determines how many broken hearts it takes to take an item is based on quality because i'm pretty sure that d6 just cost me three broken hearts that's scary so yeah that's a little terrifying that means i can't really find a good item and take it but i'm still gonna roll you know i'm not gonna not just because i have the batteries here why not right eve's mascara oh that would be kind of juicy but no Death Scythe. Oh, I kind of want that. I'd be down to one heart. Wait, I shouldn't be doing this at all. What am I talking about? I'm one HP. No, 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 no. Actually, no, no, thank you. Good spot an item. Bloop, bloop. Uh, it's blind? Excuse you? Why would you do this to me? Why am I blind on the time that I'm probably going to get an angel deal? Oh, boy. Well, it's a wooden chest, and wooden chests don't really exactly have the best pool of items. I believe they are items that are brown? I forget how wooden chests work. Aren't they items that are related to mom somehow? Either way, I just know they're not that good. We're gonna leave it all on. Gurglings fight. We took a tears down, but it's no problem. We're still one-shotting a lot of things here. I'm gonna focus on the right guy first. And now he's the top guy, and now he's the top left guy. Also, now he's the right guy. Now you're the top left guy. You sure are brave, aren't you? <laughs> nice! God damn it. All right. Well, you know what? This is actually good. Uh, what I would want right now more than anything is not to spawn a deal uh, because it would be blind. Maybe there's a sack room though. Oh man. Ugh, man. I can't do spy. God damn it. Don't even, don't, don't put that. Sloth fight? I wasn't expecting you. I mean, if you drop an item, probably won't take it, but at least it gave me something to roll. No, you gave me essence of keeper, which gives me a gold item. That's pretty good, actually. Hinted rock. Thank you. Almost just blew up because of my flies. That would have been not so nice. This is a super secret rock. 
Since when do those exist? They literally don't. I gotta remember I have two soul hearts left over. That last room was clutch. Okay, so what we'll do is we will go to the devil room, use Sanguine Bond a lot, as much as I want actually, get rid of most of my broken hearts, and come back and take my two soul hearts that I left over. This is not gonna be an easy fight. I'm definitely not overpowered. I gotta make sure I'm playing well. Careful the brim! Oh my lord! Okay, boom! They are both on pedestals and I'm blind. I forgot that I'm blind. Why am I blind? Wait, d uh, didn't I establish that the more broken hearts they take, the better the item is? Or did I make that up in my mind? For now, I'm just gonna get rid of my broken hearts as much as I can. There you go. Maybe even a couple more. Yippee. Even one more, why not? Oh my god, I accidentally took that. That sucks. I spawned empty vessel. Don't know how I did that. That's three hearts. That's gotta be good, right? A lot just happened. Tons, actually, really. It was uh, an unfathomable how much just what happened. What the hell? But this is still good. We can go in here. We get nothing. That's okay. I have two star hearts left over. I accidentally took the left item. That's not what I wanted. But it completely worked out in my favor because I found a knife. That's huge. I think what happened is I found an item through Sanguine Bond and it pushed me in an unexpected way. That is, I can't get over how cute that sprite is. So now we are damage incarnate, right? Oh my lord, but I am going to die if I don't play well. I just have to play well, that's it. I can do it. I've never seen an orange shield in my life, but uh, that's sure is disgusting. Such a unique playstyle by playing this character. I'm so happy I picked them up. This was really fun. And we did confirm, by the way, that uh, basically, based on the tier of item, it just it depends on how much you're gonna pay Broken Hearts for, right? Like, uh, Mom's Knife is a quality 4 item, uh, and I suppose that translates to 3 Broken Hearts. That's the exact same thing that happened to the D6 from what I remember. That thing was 3 Broken Hearts as well. So I'm assuming it's just based off of tier of uh, item. How good the quality is. Based on the game's judgment, right? ba bam ba bing ba bong ba bong ba 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 bing ba bong ba bong do 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 I hate you do 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 I'm gonna need some soul hearts actually a little bit of soul heart action maybe even like a little bit of a soul heart maybe one day I'll even find a soul heart yes damn I'm broke I just got Vegas man I'm on that casino royale it didn't even blow up I guess it was worth right that's exactly what I wanted chaka chaka ding ding don't know why this song is so silly. Do do dabba 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 ding ding. Hi, secret room. What if this was an item, even though it physically can't be? Thanks, empty vessel. I actually appreciate you and your uh, weird kind of Cheeto shield. I got like Cheeto shield going on. <laughs> well, unless I find a sack room, there's no way I'm going to be able to get rid of the rest of these broken hearts. And that's okay. I think we've done a pretty good job at balancing. It was tough in the very beginning, uh, but once I kind of figured out the playstyle fast enough, we were able to bring it back. And I, I've been having a lot of fun, actually. Very, very awesome and cool, unique character. There's one last thing I can do. I do have soul hearts left over. Let me go to the curse room, pick up my soul hearts, fight the boss. And then we'll open the red chests and then spend even more broken hearts. Super secret. Oh man, well I don't exactly have money anymore. I can get an extra charge, like overcharge my d6. I'm like a little mini Satan. That's kind of cute. Uh, I'm gonna assume it's four. Okay, I was a little late, but no problem. Don't- he died. I, I, I don't even know. Straight up, I don't know. He died. 100%. There was no second phase. There was no, like, big explosion. He just kind of exploded. I'm not gonna question it. I'm just gonna say that I'm doing a lot of damage. Unlocked Shattered Soul. Don't know how. That's kind of cool, though. Okay. One, two, three, four. I declare a thumb war. These all suck. Uh, those also all suck. And those all kind of suck. <laughs> Truly a world we must live in. Uh, Empress. I mean, that's HP up, sure. Why not? I now have hair. I've received the hair transformation. Welcome to Wig World. <laughs> Whoa, get out the way! Luck up, thanks. Still looking for a use of my uh, Essence of Keeper. I kind of want a golden item. I would have used it on the knife uh, if I had known that it was a knife. But I didn't, so tough. You know, cry about it moment. Roll. Yikes, no thank you. Chest, Tammy's head, not useful. I'm not Azazel actually, I don't have Brimstone, that would have been sick, but no thanks. It's so weird being on the dark room and seeing that my last item that I picked up was from a womb. You know what I mean? Like, that is one thing about this character. You don't pick up a lot of items. You really don't. Maybe I'm playing it wrong and maybe there's a better way to play it. But as far as I know, I mean, I, I've just been very scarce with the items by my own fruition. You know, I have what? 4, 8, 12, 16, 
what is that, uh, 19 items total? We are dealing so much damage. We do have triple shot mom's knife at the end of the day. Like in reality, uh, we're kind of gaming on the lamb. It's just not possible, not feasible for you to win. Get out of here. Unlocked sanguine jewel. Mute. Oh, I got to, don't even care. I don't care. I'm shooting a m more billion m knives. All the knives in the world belong to me. Oh my god, I should have Essence of Keepered. I got so excited. Whoopsies. What would double quad shot even do? I mean, logically, it would give me eight shots, right? What are you talking about? I'll throw it up on screen. There you go. Oh my god, would you believe it? This is what this looks like. Woohoo! You know what? Today, I'm thinking I'm taking uh, gold shoop de whoop with me. That's actually what I'm doing. I think I'm gonna one shot every single wave. This is not gonna be an easy fight whatsoever. I just need to focus up though. Basically, it's three hits, right? One from my blanket, two from my health. That's kind of what I wanted to take away, uh, shoot the whoop, just lower my health. Make it so it's really enticing. Will he do it? I don't know. I'm gonna use shoop here, actually. There you go. We have empty vessel. We're gonna try and use it as much as possible during this mini boss wave. This is the scariest wave from Mega Satan, in my opinion. There you go. Kind of perfect dodges all around. Come back around and shoot him in the face. Both angels should die in one hit. Cool, we kind of have gargantuan damage of the utmost degree. What if I just stood in front of him? That's a terrible idea, don't ever do that. <laughs> oh hey, guess who just got his empty vessel back? I just had like an anime moment where it looked like I was in a dire strait and then it turns out uh, like off screen the side character comes in and throws me like a sensu beam. <laughs> it's over, GG. Do we got delirium? We do not. I unlocked something. Anyway, that was super cool, GG.